So today, let's take a look at how to do some marker stamping. First, let's look at my setup here. I've got some washable markers. I've got drawing paper, a placemat. I have, of course, my stamps here, all the stamps that I plan to use. And I also have a damp paper towel for cleaning stamps between colors. Now, your damp paper towel does not need to be soaking wet. If it's dripping all over the place, make sure to squeeze out some of that extra water over the sink so that when you bring your paper towel to your workspace, it's not dripping all over the place. Next, let's talk about the stamps. These stamps were made using recycled plastic bottle caps and foam shapes that I bought at the Arts and Crafts store. Um, some of the shapes you can buy have a sticky backing already on them and you just peel the paper off and stick it to the bottle cap. Um, others don't have that, so for some of them I had to use a hot glue gun to glue the foam shape to the cap. So to start out, I'm going to be exploring and experimenting with how these work. And while I'm exploring, I'm going to be sort of thinking about what I could use them for. So I'm looking at the shapes that I have here in front of me and I'm envisioning and sort of thinking ahead about what objects or subjects I could create using some of these shapes. For example, Maybe a square and a triangle put together would make a good house. Um, let's see, so this ellipse shape or football shape might make a good flower petal or leaves. There are so many different possibilities. Be creative and think outside the box for how you could use your shapes. To begin the stamping process, I'm going to choose a marker and I'm going to use that marker and add some color to the surface of the foam shape. Now it's important to keep in mind that one swipe of the marker is probably not going to be enough. So I'm going to go over it a few extra times to make sure I build up some layers of ink um, with the color of that marker. Okay, so now I'm ready to press it onto the paper. When I press a color, shape, or design from one surface onto another surface, it's called a print. Next, I'm going to create a ghost print by reprinting the shape again. Because I didn't apply any more ink, the print is much lighter and more transparent, which is why it's called a ghost print. After I finish stamping onto the paper, I'm going to press the stamp onto my damp paper towel and clean off any leftover ink. That way, the stamp is clean and ready for someone else to use if they need it. Stamp printing is a really basic and fun introduction to a type of art called printmaking. To finish up this demonstration, I'm going to speed things up and continue testing out all of my stamps, and then I'll start to create a work of art using these stamps. If you decide to explore printmaking today, I can't wait to see what you can come up with using our stamps. Thank you.